hello my name is Tiffany thank you for joining me on my channel today as you could tell by the title we're gonna be talking about um, how to learn how to code like self-taught developers what are the three ways that I think are the best that, that you could do to learn how to code so let's hop right into it so as you know um, one of the first ways to learn how to code is to um, basically go to websites that teach you how to code. So Codecademy is the first one I have up here. Codecademy is totally free. You can um, go log in, create an account, and um, get to learning straight away. I'm going to briefly show you some of the courses that they offer just in case you're thinking about um, doing it. Um, so yeah, they have it by subject, so just web development, programming, data science as well, um, design as well, and then they have it by language too. So if you want to learn strictly bash and learn git, you can learn the command line. You can learn Python, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Java as well. SQL has some stuff in there and Ruby. So they have a few good things. Uh, the next website is Team Treehouse. So um, right now my account is on pause, but um, yeah, so there is Team Treehouse. And so here's kind of like the welcome screen. Um, they also can go to view tracks and it will show you some of the things uh, that they have. They have PHP, um, Java, web design, C sharp, front end development, um, iOS, Rails, intermediate PHP so it kind of gives you a different variation of PHP it just goes over object oriented PHP which is one I probably need to check out soon um, they have a ton here as you can see um, WordPress JavaScript Android react data analysis there's a ton of them so this is also a very good place um, that you can go and um, learn how to code as well the third one is Free Code Camp. Free Code Camp is one that I used, um, a, not a lot, but it's one that I like to use um, and that I have used in the past before. And the reason I like it so much is, um, I mean, yeah, you can get your front end certification. I don't come on here to get a front end certification, but you could very well do that. Um, but they've got a lot of challenges here. Um, lots of things that are very important that you need to uh, be able to do. So you've got front end development, data visualization, back end development, video challenges, open source, which this is the original reason why I even signed up for it was because um, open source. Um, I thought that would be a really good way to, to get started into it. And coding interview prep, prep is prep, the coding interview prep as well. Um, when you go into the front end development certification, it, you know, it tells you about how long it's going to take. And I mean, they all pretty much do that, but I just think it's pretty cool. Um, how they kind of everything listed individually and then it's grouped, so you have uh, JavaScript object as variables, split strings with dot split, and it, it actually makes you do those things. And I feel like that's so important because a lot of times when you're learning how to code through other websites and things like that, they'll hold your hand through the process. Free Code Camp kind of just not really dumps you in there, but they give you the opportunity to figure it out for yourself. That's very important on the road to becoming a independent developer that can go to work in a company 
get an assignment and get that assignment done. I think that's very important. Uh, so yeah, so these are, I'm not going to go through all of these. Uh, Backend development certification has Node, Git, Mongo, API projects. This is very important, guys. Spend some time doing something with APIs. Um, yeah, th there's a lot of stuff here. So I'd say if you're just starting out, this would be, this might be too much when you're just like needing something to get started with. But definitely as you're learning, as you're growing, look at Free Code Camp because it's good stuff. Um, the other way to learn how to code is through YouTube channels. So a lot of people have YouTube tutorial or tutorials on YouTube about coding. Now, my channel has, and I'll link them, the ones that I have. I basically just have how to build your own website and then HTML and CSS tutorials. So a very basic. In 2018, I really want to start doing more tutorials. Um, and I'm just trying to figure out which tutorials I'd want to actually make. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. But I definitely want to get back into doing more of those. So until then, here are some tutorials or some uh, websites that I, or some channels that are good. So Traversy Media. If you haven't heard of them, um, I went through, I think I was just looking at channels and this was after like a quick search. I found a few of these channels. As you can see, there's JavaScript, there's the DOM, there's um, Angular and Vue and React and stuff like that. So um, this is a good one to, um, to check out. If you're just trying to uh, kind of get started with it, channel to check out as well. There we go. Chris Hawks. Um, he has, I don't know if he has a playlist. Yeah, he does have a playlist. So, yeah, you got Python, uh, ES6 tutorials, advanced JavaScript, uh, Node, stuff like that. Uh, react as well. So yeah, this is another channel that's really good. Uh, the last channel is also one where I did an interview with. Uh, his name is Telmo. So uh, shout out to Telmo. He does some tutorials as well. And let me show you. Here's Telmo. Yeah. So um he also has build a website as well, but he also does, if I could find them, yeah, how to build pro or JavaScript project and tutorials for beginners. And then if you just look through his videos, um, he does, the thing about Telmo and what I like about his channel is that it's, some of them are not, he does those um, how to videos of JavaScript and how to build a website, stuff like that. But he also does things like, oh, here's a lesson on smooth scroll tutorial with jQuery and CSS animation tutorial. So if you're looking to kind of get into more, like maybe you have a basics down, but you just want to learn how to do this one thing with it, he's a good channel to look out for. Um, and I'm sure he'll be doing more tutorials as the new year comes. So there's that. The other way, this is the last way, the third way to learn how to code, um, is go to a website of the language that you want to learn. So let's say I want to learn Angular. Oops, I don't know what JKS is, but um, say you want to learn Angular. You're going to go to, it's kind of jacked up here. So the first one is normally the one where the website is. So a lot of these websites that have languages have very clean websites. As you could see, all it has is like this page as AngularJS. And it says, hey, do you want to try the new Angular? Sure, why not? And it redirects you to the next, uh, to a new page. Um, and this, of course, is very smooth and, and kind of easy to read and stuff like that. If I were you, um, you might try this get started. I don't really know where this goes. 
I'm winging it here. Okay, so this is like a quick start. All right, so you could do that. Setting up your development environment is going to be the first thing that you want to do when you learn a language. There's, um, you know, things that you need to install. You need to know how to create a new project. And you also need to know how to serve that, op that application. So how are you going to get that application so you can view it on a browser or in a browser rather? So they also have docs kind of go through the basics what is angular and then they have a tutorial section all right and so they have an introduction and all these other things as well they have fundamentals of just things that you need to do like displaying data very important thing in angular that's that's what it's there for so you want to know how to display information so that's the biggest thing i could tell you is go to the actual website of whatever language you want to learn. Um, React, I'm sure, is the same way. You could do a tutorial, intro to React, um, stuff like that. Some websites, like if you did PHP, um, I don't think they actually have a tutorial in PHP. So some aren't going to be giving you actual walkthrough tutorials, but they will give you documentation all the time. Um, and so that is something that you should also read through and look at and figure out how to work out. Um, and then you could do something simple like how to learn Ruby. Yeah, do you want to learn Ruby on Rails? Or do you just want to learn Ruby? Okay, let's learn Ruby on Rails, right? Um, of course, it gives you a lot of ads and stuff, but it also gives you um, kind of websites that you could check out. Again, plugging Code Academy, and it's got an article here as well. So this is how I learned, like back in the day when I was, um, I had a another job and I didn't really like that job but um, still wanted to learn how to code I would go through and just search and once you start searching it'll lead you on a trail like for sure you'll start looking at all t types of things so I mean this is like an I never read this article ever but it gives you some resource additional resources as well um, there's Rails tutorial right here. So if you wanted to do this, it says, oh, look, there is a Ruby on Rails tutorial. It looks like it's a book. Okay. Rails 5. If you didn't know what current version of Rails that they're on, you could say, what is the current version of Rails? All right. It looks like version of five is in beta as in 2015 which means I'm pretty sure it's already been released um, so yeah it's stuff like that if you go to Ruby gems as you can see right now they're on 5.2.0 okay so that's the most updated version so if you learn version 5 then you're pretty much good so if I go back here and say okay I want to read this book you know, you could start, they've got the little um, uh, chapters over here, over here. I don't know if you could necessarily read the whole thing from here. Probably not. You probably have to buy the book. But if you're into books, you can buy them as well. Um, I did that as well. When I was learning, like, bootstrap and stuff, I would, I bought, like, a, um, a tutorial, like, a book on Amazon. But it was, like, an e-book or something. So, um, I could use it on the go. So I wouldn't have to bring a book everywhere. I could just bring my tablet or something and kind of flip through the pages that way. So that worked out. But a lot of what you want to do is going to be searching. So it, it brings me back to, um, something that I've mentioned before in the past. And it's like, you have to research, you have to be curious and you have to just find information. So the biggest thing, if you're learning on your own is to, to be able to find that information. If you um, like structured 
information and stuff like that, tutorials, um, I would recommend free code camp if you're just looking for something that has a bit of like this is what you do that next this is what we're doing next or here's a big outline of stuff if you just want to start and learn the syntax of things code academy is really good for that team treehouse is really good for that if you enjoy videos teach team treehouse is one that you need to be looking at they have videos there so um, i recommend using all three of them and then just learning all the things that you could possibly learn because there's so many things. Um, another thing that I've been using lately, because I've been learning a lot of uh, object oriented programming in PHP. And uh, let's see, where's the, let's see if I could find it. I think it's, is it this one? No. So, tutorials point is one that you could also look at. It has kind of, um, it's tutorials <laughs> and it's kind of step by step. And um, it's a really good one. They pretty much have all the languages that you could ever want to learn. So they have one on object oriented PHP, um, which I think is pretty cool. And then on the side here, they have kind of like, you know, the steps of how they're gonna be going over things, or if you're just looking for something specific. This is a really good thing to use when you start coding something, and you're like, okay, I've started coding, now I want to learn more about this, or I heard about this one thing, what is it? And you kinda of go through and uh, look for information there. Now, Tutorials Point has um, tutorials on everything. Think if you were to type in tutorials on JavaScript, yes. So tutorials point would be it's like the third one here. So if you if you want, everyone has its own different color or whatever. So again, if you're just looking for something quick and to reference, this is a good thing. Now. As far as like just learning and stuff like that, I recommend, like I said, to kind of dabble in each method and kind of see what you could take away from each one and what you like to do, what is, what speaks to you, what's the best way for you to learn. Um, but the biggest thing is to do tutorials, right? And once you do the tutorials and you finish it, and even when you're going step by step, think about your own projects. And so... A lot of the things with tutorials are things that you could reuse over and over and over again. So once you have that tutorial down um, and you finish it or you've gotten to a specific point, close out the tutorial, go on your own, and try to recreate those steps on your own. It's okay to go back and look back at some of the directions, but try to recreate it on your own first, using um, trying to create the same thing that's in the tutorial, and then you can go back and you know finish off the tutorial or, or with however method you're using to learn or to to get through the tutorial um, so once you have tried it on your own then you want to go into making something without looking at the tutorial you're making something completely different it doesn't have to be anything big um, most people start with like a to-do list or um, just a, a maybe a simple login form or something like that uh, depending on what language that you're learning so I would definitely do something small like that before you start going big and crazy um, but yeah just just start with the basics like if, if you don't know anything start with the basics and that's probably the best advice that I can give you is is uh, learn from what's out there and then take what's out there and keep building on it every time you learn something new, right? So every time you learn a new, new concept, a new thing, add it to your portfolio of knowledge, so to speak, all right? So I hope this is helpful for you. I also wrote a blog post, uh, I'll link it below in the description as well. Um, it has links as well to the uh, things that I talked about in this video. Um, and then I'll also link the the links <laughs> link the links below as well in the description but um check out the blog post if you would like to 
and like if you thought this was helpful and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys next time with a video keep coding